Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Care of salvation, purchase of God, born of His Spirit, washing His blood. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect of me. Visions of rapture now burst on my side. Angels descending, bring from above echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission all is a I am my Savior, I'm happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above, filled with His good, as Lord in His love. What is your story? This is my story. This is my song. What about you? Praising my Savior the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Let us begin to praise the Lord. Let's worship Him. Let's worship Him. Let's give Him thanks. Lamentations 3 verse 22 says, it is by the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed, because his compassion fails not. Let's begin to thank God. Let's begin to praise him. Let's begin to worship him. He's the Lord of Lords, the King of glory. Uh, we enter his gate with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his cause with praise. I will say this is the day. That the Lord has made, I will rejoice for he has made me glad. It's made me glad, I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. We lent his gifts with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his cause with praise. I will say, This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Let's begin to thank God. Let's thank God for the month of January till October. Let's give him the praise that he deserves. Father, we thank you. We worship you. We thank you, Lord. We adore your holy name. We glorify you because you are God. Thank you for your keeping powers. Thank you for all you have done for us. Thank you, Lord, for the month of January till October 2017. We thank you, Father. We bless you. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made, I will rejoice 
I will rejoice and be glad in it and be glad in it. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day. Another day that the Lord has made. We thank God. Father, we adore you. We give you glory. We thank you for the your many benefits for all you have done for us, what you are doing right now, and what we are here to do. Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Let's begin to praise the Lord. Let's begin to thank him. He has done marvelously well. He's our excellent Jehovah. We thank you, Lord. Even for the new month, we thank you. For the first day, the second day, the third day, we thank you. For all the days in the month of October, we thank you. Father, we bless you because you are able. You are able to keep. You are able to bless. You are able to deliver. You are able to heal us. Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father Lord. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. You can write your songs. You can write your amen. You can write your hallelujah. Let's thank him together. Let's worship him. He's worthy of our praises. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Praise the Lord. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Praise the Lord. Let's begin to thank God. For he will take control. He will take control this afternoon of this new series. In the name of Jesus. Let's begin to thank God. Let's thank God for the Holy Spirit. Let's bless his holy name. Father, take control. Father, take control. Jesus, take preeminence. Father, take control. Father, take control. Jesus, take control. Holy Ghost, take preeminence. Father, take control. You are the only one who can take control. God of Abraham, come and take control. Father, take preeminence. Father, take control. Father, take control. This afternoon, take control. Take control in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word towards this afternoon. Thank you, Lord, for your word is a light unto our path, a lamp unto our feet. Father, take control. Speak to us, Father. Speak to us, Father. Open our ears, open our eyes, open our hearts of understanding in the name of Jesus. Father, speak to us. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Your word is amen. Your word is yes and amen. Glory be to your name. Your word is true and amen. I have found it. It's amen. Forevermore, your word is true and amen. I have found it. It's amen. Father, we worship you. Once again, we thank you for the new and the great things you will do for us online this afternoon. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. He's our teacher. He's our comforter. He's our counselor. We thank you. Holy Ghost, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we thank you. In the name of Jesus. Do it again. Do it again in our lives today. Open eyes to see Jesus seated upon the throne. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus, even as we cover the air, the air with the blood of Jesus, we cover our environment with the blood of Jesus, we cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus, and I take authority over the air, over the land, over the wind, over the over the internet, in the name of Jesus Christ. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The Bible says the righteous runs into it are the same. I take authority in the name of Jesus. I take authority in the name of Jesus uh, by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus sets me free, sets you free in Jesus' name. Father, take all the glory. Lord, take all the glory. Take all the adoration, even as we worship you. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, brethren, I welcome you and I say happy new month to each and every one of us online this afternoon. And I welcome you to another series of our program titled Keeping Your Hope Alive. Keeping Your Hope Alive. My name is Mama Hope 
and uh, I'm a minister in charge of Christ Drone Intercessory Ministries International, both in Nigeria and overseas. And the ministry was founded in 2006, May, and to the glory, and the glory of God, we are moving ahead and we pray that this afternoon, the God that commissioned this ministry will back us up in the name of Jesus. God will answer our prayers and we shall receive testimonies. Thank, we thank God for the past recordings. We thank God for the past programs. We bless him for the ones we are doing right now and the ones we are here to do. I pray that he will take control and he will miss minister to him, to us himself in the name of Jesus. I'm here to encourage us. As I said earlier last week, I said we need to encourage one another, keeping our hope in life alive. We need to keep our hope alive, but there are some things we need to do. Praise God. The Bible says our expectation is from the Lord. Our hope is in the Lord. Our expectations are from him because he is our maker. God is our maker. Is our hope. He knows it all. God sees it all. He can do it all. He is also able to do all things through his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God. Through the Holy Spirit of God, God has been teaching us, counseling us, comforting us. There is nothing we can do. Even you as a believer especially, as a child of God, there is nothing you can do except the Holy Spirit helps. And I pray that this afternoon, God will minister to us through his Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Glory, honor, adoration be unto his name. In Jesus' name. I love to sing this song. And uh, I want you to follow and sing along if you know it. I love the man of Galilee. For he has done so much, very much for me. He has forgiven me all my sins and sent the Holy Ghost to me. I love the man of Galilee. Do you love Jesus? Let's sing along. I love the man of Galilee, for he has done so very much for me. He has forgiven me all my sins and sent the Holy Ghost to me. I love the man of Galilee. Jesus is my joy. The Holy Spirit is my joy. I am always happy in God's presence. Today I pray. God Almighty will back us up. He will gladden our hearts. He will help us to live healthy in the name of Jesus. Uh, we are going to discuss a crucial issue this afternoon. And that is about staying healthy. Staying healthy in life. Staying healthy in life. My reference scripture will be seen in the book, the third book of John. I want you to follow me to the third book of John verse 2. And I'm going to read from here. The third book of John, verse 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospereth. Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper in your health, even as your soul prospers. That is the wish of God. God wants us to prosper in our health, even as our soul prospers in him. Hallelujah. 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 Our God is a God of love. Our health is very important to him. He wants us to be healthy. Hallelujah. The book of Psalm 119, verse 105. Psalm 119, verse 105. Let's see what it says. About the word of God, the, the Bible says, the word of God is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. The word of God has a power to direct us. The word of God has a, has a power to help us in every area of life, including our health. The Bible is full of instances of scriptures, golden scriptures, that can help us, lead us right to stay healthy. You need to keep your hope up. Even if you are sick today, do not worry. Keep your hope up. Keep your hope alive in him, but do the right things. We are going to see what we can do this afternoon. Some of the things we can do. We can do. Praise God. If only you and I can follow, 
listen and follow to go along with what God wants us to do, we will profit. We will profit from those instructions. Hallelujah. I will go step by step this afternoon, starting with the first one. Number one, what do we do to stay healthy? God wants to ask us to stay healthy. Don't forget I said it. That is the, the third book of John, verse 2. God wants us to be healthy. He doesn't want us to be sick unless we go into sin and we don't do the right things. Praise God. Number one concerns food. And let me call it foods. We must learn to eat wisely. My friends, we must learn to eat wisely. Children of God especially must learn to eat and drink wisely. Proverbs 4 verse 7. The book of Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 says, In all our gettings, get wisdom, get understanding, get knowledge. Whatever you are in life, whoever you are, whatever you are doing, get understanding, get knowledge, get wisdom. We must apply wisdom to life even in eating and drinking. Hallelujah. There are lots of junk foods out there these days. They are called foods all over the world. We must be very, very careful. We must be careful with what we eat and drink to stay healthy. God does not want us to be sickly. God wants us to stay healthy. That's why he says he wants us to prosper in our health, even as our soul prospers. You cannot prosper in your soul and leave your bodies. No. He wants us to prosper in every area of our lives. And I pray that God will grant us understanding and wisdom in the name of Jesus. Let's go ahead. A proverb says, you are what you eat. And I think I believe it. You are what you eat. You are what you drink. Especially as a believer. You are what you eat. You are what you drink. We must avoid sugary stuff. We must avoid excessive oils. We must avoid carbohydrate foods. We learned that cancers feed on sugars. Cancers feed on sugars. Stay away from sugars. If don't eat too much carbohydrate foods because the body cannot use, utilize them, so they turn into sugars. Sugars are not the best for the bodies. Cancers, viruses feed on sugars in the body. You need to stay healthy. You need to keep your hope alive. You need to stay healthy. Praise the Lord. It is true, the Bible said it, that we should eat anything sold in the market. But it's still the same word of God that tells us that we must apply wisdom in all that we do. May God grant us wisdom and understanding spirit to live right, to eat right, to act right in the name of Jesus. The reason is that Times have changed. Why we cannot eat anything, just anything? Why you cannot eat or drink just anything? Things have changed. Times have changed. In times of food, uh, food production, you will discover that these days are different from the days of our forefathers. These days are different from the days of our forefathers. The rate at which uh, chemicals are used to plant foods, to harvest, to plant to preserve foods is alarming and it's not the best for healthy living. There are too much chemicals in many of these foods in the stores, even from the farms, from fertilizer to preservations and preservatives and everything chemical. We must be careful. Let us learn to eat fresh, as fresh as possible. Fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, to keep us healthy. Hallelujah. Let us eat fresh foods. Let us learn to eat wholesome foods. God will help us in Jesus' name. Secondly, we must avoid sugary chemicals and alcohols. We must avoid drinks that have a lot of sugars in them. We must avoid drinks that have alcohol. These are not good for children of God. When you get sick, you drink a lot of this, you get sick, you run back to God for healing. 
instead of you applying wisdom in the first place, apply understanding and knowledge. See what you want to eat. See what you want to drink. See the label. You don't just consume anything because they impair the body. They do the body wrong. They cannot help the body to grow. But they cause trouble and problems in our bodies. I pray that God will deliver us in the name of Jesus. We must learn to drink plenty of water. At least a gallon every day. Yeah, I know. I know. It might be difficult, but with determination, we can do it. Seriousness. With seriousness, you can do it. Drink plenty of water. It helps the bowel movement. You stay healthy. You go to the toilet more. It's good for you. It cleanses the system. God will help us in the name of Jesus. Don't forget that God wants you to be healthy in your bodies. Even as your soul prospers, he wants us to be healthy and to prosper in our bodies. I pray this afternoon as the power and the word of God go out, we will prosper both in our souls and our bodies in Jesus' name. If you are sickly, keep your hope up. Have the mindset that you will get over it. Practice all that we are saying. Practice all you see in the Bible. Practice what your doctor says to you. With time, six months, one year, you will get there. I pray for healing this afternoon in the name of Jesus. The word of God has powers. The word of God has powers to deliver, to heal. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Go for medical attention. Don't just stay home. Seek medical attention. Do what your doctors and the nurses ask you to do. God will help you in the name of Jesus. Again, I want us to be careful with our choices. Let's learn to eat more vegetables and proteinous foods. Don't forget that the beans that we eat is more of protein, and some is more of carbohydrate than protein. We must be careful. It's a second class protein. Beans are good, but we must avoid eating them with carbohydrates like a core, ogi, or bread, or yam. You are, you are eating double portion of carbohydrates. God will help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Cheap proteins are in the market everywhere in the whole world. Like shrimps, crayfishes, fishes, dried ones, fresh ones, meat of different types that are good for the body. Proteinous foods, fruits and vegetables. I would advise you that you get your calories from vegetables. Some vegetables, many of these vegetables have carbohydrates. They have a little starch and that should be enough for you but they are healthy. And we advise you stay from foods that are high in carbohydrates. God will help us in Jesus' name. So we don't get um, diabetes and all these diseases. They're not our portion in the name of Jesus, but watch it. What, what you eat and what, what you drink. God will help us. The third uh, point I want to mention is about physical exercises. We must learn to move our bodies. Take a daily walk in the morning or in the evenings as time permits you. Make sure you walk. We will discover that these days we drive a lot. Drive back and forth, driving, driving, driving. We need to let the car go and take a walk. Walk around your neighborhood. Go to the park. Walk. God will help us and strengthen us in the name of Jesus. You can as well go to the gym if it is possible. Go and exercise. We need to exercise. We must avoid sitting down for too long. When we don't do it, our children will not do it. They have to be mobile. We have to be mobile. God will help us. We need to stay healthy. Keep the hope alive. Do not just sit down there. God wants us to be healthy. He doesn't want us to be sick as his children. But we have a part to play. Um, the fourth point I want to mention it's about living holy. As children of God, we must live holy. He says in the book of First Peter, chapter 1, verse 16, he says, For I am holy, be ye holy. God is a holy God. He wants us, his children, to be holy. 
I want us also to see a scripture in the first book of Timothy, chapter 4, Timothy 4, verse 8. Let's read together if you have your Bible with you. For bodily exercise profits little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that is now is and of that which is to come. Bodily exercise is profitable, but godliness, the Bible says, is profitable unto all things. Having promise of the life that now is, the, this present life, and of that which is to come. Godliness must be your watchword if you want to stay healthy. And I must not deceive you. What must you do? We have said it. Part of it is to desist. Stay away from stuffs that can harm the body and cause sicknesses, cigarettes, alcohol, and the likes. Number two, stay away from sexual activities if you are not married. Stay away from sexual activities if you are not married. If you are married, stay faithful to your spouse. God will help us in the name of Jesus. The book of 1 Corinthians Chapter 6, verse 19 says something about that. He says, our bodies are God's temples. We cannot misuse the body. You cannot misuse your body. I cannot misuse my body as a child of God. My body is the temple of God. Your body is the temple of God. You must take care of your body. Watch what you put in the body. In any way, in all ways. God will help us in the name of Jesus. Also, we must avoid dangerous chemicals on our bodies, ranging from bleaching creams, cosmetics that contain lead, lipsticks, and things like that. You must watch it. It is good to be fashionable. It is good to be fashionable. It is good. To look good, it is good. But watch what you put on your face. Watch what you put on your body. There are many of them out there marketing. They are making their money. Be careful with cosmetics. Many of this stuff have lead in them that can cause cancer of the skin. Be careful, people of God. Be careful. God will help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Again, I want to mention the issue of anger. We're talking about staying healthy. The issue of anger. The Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 9, that anger lies in the bosom of fools. I know we are not fools. Therefore, we must not allow anger, the spirit of anger, to remain with us. It's a spirit. It's a very bad spirit. You must avoid anger. I must avoid anger. Anger causes the blood pressure to rise. And you know what it can lead to? Hypertension. We must avoid anger. We must stay away from anger. Yes, we are living. We are human beings. When you get annoyed, work it out, get over it. Even the Bible says we must not allow anger to go down with us at the sunset. That means quickly get over it. Whatever happened, get over it and move on. Anger is a spirit. It's a very bad spirit. It destroys the body. It can destroy the soul equally. Stay away from anger. And God will help us in the name of Jesus. Learn to forgive quickly. That's what the word of God says. If you learn to forgive quickly, the spirit of anger will not have a place to dwell in your life. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Lastly, I will mention love. To stay healthy, love and make yourself available to be loved. God loved us first, and so did Jesus. You must love back. Love God back. Love your neighbors as yourself, the Bible says. Love yourself too. Love yourself. Love people. Love yourselves. This makes us happy and reduces tension. Love your family members. 
and life goes on. This makes us happier and keeps the medicine away. Love and be loved. The Bible says it. I love the word of God. It's powerful. Proverbs 17 verse 22. It says, a merry heart does more, even more than medicine. A merry heart. Let your heart be merry. Rejoice, the Bible says. I say always, rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. No matter what is going on, rejoice. Because our Christ Jesus has already said it in the book of John chapter 16 verse 33. He said, in the world we shall have tribulations, problems, issues. But he said, be of good cheer for I have overcome the world. Really. We praise him. He has overcome the world. No matter what we are looking at today, he has overcome the world. It's a question of time. We will experience this victory. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Conclusively, people of God, it is better to stay healthy than becoming a guinea pig in the hands of medical practitioners. They are doing business. They are doing researches. It's good. They are doing business. It's good. But don't make yourself become a guinea pig for medical research in the hands of these medical practitioners and pharmacists. They're selling their medicine. Medical treatments could be expensive, especially when you don't have uh, health insurance. Therefore, you must stay healthy. We must practice healthy living in every area of life. In every area of life. God will help us. I pray that as God is willing to help us stay healthy, we will help ourselves. We will help one another. We will help ourselves to remain healthy in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us share the grace. I pray that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit will be with each and every one of us now and forevermore. Amen. Until I come your way again next week, by the special grace of God, let's live right, eat right, drink right, act right, and please keep your hope alive.